Hi, everybody. In part two of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to prepare the imported box from Illustrator for mockup. So what we're going to be doing is creating a series of rectangles um, or different shapes, depending on what your box looks like, to um, prepare uh, each side for image mapping. So what I would like for you to do is um, go ahead and navigate over to your shape tool in the toolbar. And I'm going to start off with a rectangle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just drag out a rectangle that's about the approximate uh, size of my front panel here. And I'm going to continue doing that for my front, left, top, flap, and inside part of my box. Granted, uh, your shapes might look a little bit different depending on um, what template you're using, but you can go ahead and follow along with me here. So here's going to be uh, the rectangle for my left side. Um, here's the shape for my top flap and the tuck tab, which I'll edit. And then for my little triangle portion in here, I will go in here to my polygon tool. I'm going to type in three sides and I'm going to drag out a, oh, that is not what I want. Hmm. Let's try that again. Drag out my polygon. I'm going to do three sides. We're not going to indent the sides at all. It's not going to be a star. Uh, we're going to say, okay, so that's going to be a triangle. Perfect. Um, so what I want you to do from here, once you have all of these different pieces set up, is um, you'll see them actually uh, over here in your layers panel. I'm going to rename each one of them. So this is front here. This is my left panel. And again, these names might look a little bit different for you. Rectangle three is my top. Rectangle four is my flap. And polygon one is the inside. Uh, what you're gonna do with each one of these is we're gonna convert them to smart objects. So uh, if you click on your front panel, you're going to right click and say convert to smart object and do that for each one of these. So click on the layer, right click, convert to smart object. And this is going to allow us to um, seamlessly map our images that we'll export from Illustrator in the next tutorial. There we go. All right. So our next step here is we're actually going to select all of these pieces. So go ahead and click on the first one, hold down shift and click on the last layer. I'm going to adjust the opacity down to about 20% um, just so it's easy for us to actually see the space behind it. So I'll start off with my front layer. I'm gonna line it up as best as I can. And I wanna transform this. So I'm gonna to go to edit, um, edit, transform scale uh, and you can also go here and do right click skew because um, my sta scale, scale actually looks pretty good and I just want to go in here and skew some of the individual corners to fit this box. There we go. Perfect. Press enter to say okay and I'm going to do the same thing on the left side. You can also do control T to access the free transform. And I will line this up. You might need to zoom in a little bit to make sure it looks all good. Noticing that this needs to be nudged over a little bit. Great. Do control T to transform again, right click skew. And I will bring down these individual pieces here to fit my box. Now you're going to continue this process for all sides. Um, at this point, I'm going to speed up the video so you can get an overview of what the time lapse looks like from start to finish. All right, now once you have each one of these objects individually fitted for each panel, you are ready to move on to the next part of the project where you will prepare your Illustrator file and all of the images to actually put on the smart objects. See you in the next video.